Hello. Say hi, Penny. Pythagoras, Pen, and I coming at you. Uh, I don't know if this was a sign or not, but uh, this morning, I'm going to show you guys this. I was, uh, I was greeted with this sign. Um, so I don't know if I've been a little grumpy, maybe a little unkind, or maybe it was uh, Pythagoras Pen, but um, uh, someone in my family made this sign, left it out this morning. So I think it's good reminders for all of us as we're uh, kind of navigating this locked in type of environment. Um, so yeah, that's, that, that's my model today. Try to do that online. Um, still gearing up. Got another piece today. We're going to look at um, some more features tomorrow and the next day, the next two lessons. We're going to be putting it all together here, Penny. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to try to put together the graph. So we're going to have you guys make these graphs. And we've been learning all along about the features, things like midline, um, amplitude, um, frequency, what we want to talk about now is these highs and lows that we've been referring to. And to find a high and a low, if you have a graph, it's fairly straightforward. You just look on the graph and you determine what that Y value is. You follow it over to the Y axis. So what we want to do here is, is we want to do that from an equation. Because what we're going to do ultimately is give you an equation and then ask for you to graph it. Oh, there we go. Penny's going to take a break on this one. Okay, Penny, I don't know if you need a calculator or not. Here, I got a calculator for you. Would you like that? We'll put that right here, right down here by your feet. All right. So the features that are important are these highs and these lows and where they appear in the graph. And so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to teach you just how to find these highs and these lows. So just one idea, one topic for um, today. Um, by the time you're done, I have two examples. By the time you're done, you'll be able to look at an equation and find these highs and lows. We call them minimums and maximums. Okay. All right, so first one we're going to do is kind of a mild problem. We're giving you an equation from this equation. What we're going to do is we're going to identify these highs and lows. We don't need to graph it. Um, to find a minimum, we have a simple formula. I like nice using nice kind of like uh, concrete formulas so I can just plug stuff in. So this one says to take the midline minus the amplitude. So we do have to identify some features couple important numbers are here and here. These things are midlines and amplitudes. The first one is your amplitude. And then the next one is your midline. So what I do, so to find my minimum, I'm going to take negative 4 minus 3. That's going to be minus 7. And then to find my maximum, I'm going to start at my mid midline and I'm going to go up three because that's my amplitude. So minus one. And what, what this allows us, make sure that's a negative. What this allows us to do is it allows us to kind of find these highs and lows on the graph before we actually graph it, which is going to be important. We do want to know where these highs and lows occur, and we can do that by looking at some of these features in the equation. Oh, Penny got excited here. Okay, so let's just move on to one, prob one more problem. This is the last one I'm going to do for you guys today. This one is, instead of a spicy problem, this problem here is a little bit more of a, um, a, a medium problem. So, okay, so a couple things. One, our amplitude is out front here. We're going to look for that. Um, we're going to look for our midline. If we don't see a midline here, then what do we do? That means our midline is zero. Y equals zero. Okay. So this could be plus zero. So Y equals zero. Next thing is our amplitude. The amplitude is a distance from the midline to the maximum. And since distance is never negative, this amplitude is positive five. That's important to understand. What is this negative sign? This negative sign has to do with a reflection. And we, we talked about reflections um, in some earlier lessons, how it just changes the order. Um, our sine curve, instead of going from the midline high, it goes from the midline and then goes low. So we'll, we'll talk more about that in the next couple lessons. So we're just doing arithmetic, 0 minus 5. That makes this minimum negative 5, 0 plus 5, or maximum 5. Yes, that's about as spicy as they get. That's why I call this one a medium problem. 
So that's it for today. Please go to your Delta Math. Well, hi there, Penny. Couple couple pets here for you. Please go to your Delta Math. Do your um, determining minimum max practice set, and you're it. That's it for today. If you need help, make sure you log on to one of um, our Google Chat times. And I hope you're doing well. Until next time, friends. Stay clean, wash your hands, disinfect your phones, and most importantly, like the sign says, be kind.